Absolutely. A, a busy weekend of sport. More to come, Lewis. Thanks very much indeed. And uh, the next man we're going to talk about would have loved that because sport was an absolute passion of the man we're going to talk about now. Indeed, well-known figures from sport, along with broadcasting and political life, have been remembering the contribution and character of Harry Gratian, who died suddenly on Friday. Well, Harry was most proud of his Yorkshire roots, of course. He spent four years presenting South Today, where he shared the sofa with Sally Taylor. Now, there have been many memories of his consummate skill, natural warmth, and above all, his sense of fun. Here's Matt Treacy. <laughs> The name's Gratian, Harry Gratian, licensed to present. Harry Gratian joined South today in 1995. Good evening, police. At a time when news could be stuffy, he was ahead of his time by just being Harry. It's babies times three, triplets in fact. Yes, I can't really wait for this, but we are genuinely privileged as we share special moments with Abigail Nixon. He won't score. He had a passion for sport. But the Wimbledon defence is all over the place and here he is, whack, 3-0. And anyone who played it. Mikey gets into gear immediately. The man in the lime green cap doesn't. He's it further than I have. <laughs> <laughs> Harry just loved people. He loved to make people happy, to please people. There, nothing was too much for him. Over the decades, he has been endlessly kind and supportive to me. He was also a brilliant broadcaster, a man who literally leapt through your television screen. He had a real human touch, a brilliant communicator. <laughs> he talked to me a lot about his love of sport and, of course, his love of Yorkshire. He was a consummate broadcaster. We've lost a great broadcaster, but more important than that, a really true, decent man. But it was when Harry met Sally that the magic happened. And when Sally goes on one of her long walks, I feel as sick as a parrot waiting for her. Will you look at me when I'm talking to you? Thank you. Harry was a warm, caring, generous man and very funny. He was a big giggler and often on South Today we would get ourselves into trouble. He'd start giggling and then he'd set me off. He was also a truly great broadcaster, somebody who could connect with his audience. I'm sure you're wondering who my friend is. Well, this is Sally, and Sally does everything I tell her. Sally, lost. <laughs> I have so many precious memories of our time together and I would cherish them all. I miss him. Good evening and welcome to the 160th... In 1999, he returned to present Look North in his native Yorkshire. Four years later, he was awarded an MBE for his work in broadcasting. Harry said being a journalist wasn't a job, it was his life. A life so many here are glad he shared with us. Some wonderful memories of a wonderful man and really those of us lucky to do this job really do stand on the shoulders of a giant of regional broadcasting. But as Harry would say, shut up and get on with it. Let's, uh, let's do the weather. <laughs> Alexis is here. I think some of us would have been caught